JC IDM1 for A16 NAND restoring testing fixture, built-in battery, solve problems of insufficient power supply via USB and unstable flasher, movable socket, convenient to test motherboard and NAND, one heat full function, quickly entered full mode with single motherboard. Before flashing, prepare one for Pro 14 pm regional power and volume wireless charging FPC. 14 Pro 14 pm regional distance for the sensitive FPC and 14 Pro regional battery because flashing requires verifying the chips of three accessories. After preparing the above FPC, buckle the one for Pro 14 pm flashing chart FPC on the restoring testing fixture. Open the back cover of the fixture and install the prepared 14 Pro battery. Fasten and tighten the back cover with screws. Separate the mobile phone motherboard and the NAND. Place the motherboard into the groove in the restoring testing fixture. Buckle the distance for the sensitive FPC and the power and volume wireless charging FPC on the motherboard. Then buckle the 14P, 14PM flash and charge FPC on the motherboard. Above are the corresponding positions on the motherboard. Buckle the NAND socket on the testing fixture. Put the NAND in the fixture by aligning the one pin. Connect the restoring testing fixture to computer with data cable. Open the flash software of the third party on computer. Click Go Flash. Below are three flashing methods. Choose one according to the actual situation. Click Flash. Confirm to flash. The system starts flashing. It shows that the flash has completed. If the motherboard is not trusted after booting so that it is not connected, you can use the forceful function. Click forced fee to enter full mode with one click. Note that to enter full mode, you need to jump a wire from the full solder joint on the flashing chart FPC to that on the motherboard. The third party platform shows that it has entered full mode successfully.